Hello adventurers, I'm Clint Pollock, president of Adventure Crew, the web's premium source of free national park videos, pictures, and vacation information. We're here in City of Rocks National Reserve in South Central Idaho to see one of the best places to climb a rock. Behind me you'll find the Twin Sisters, which is a very large and well-known rock formation here in the park. It's been said the City of Rocks rivals Yosemite as a western favorite for technical rock climbing. Right behind us is a perfect example of one of the nearly 700 climbs in the park. We just saw some folks come down from there. Why don't we go ask them how the experience was? My name is Maura and this is Ben and we're from Salt Lake City and I came here to City of Rocks to do some climbing. I've actually only been climbing for about a year, but City of Rocks is one of my favorite places to come climb. Yeah, I've been climbing here um, for about 16 years and you know try to get up here as much as possible it's about a two and a half hour drive from Salt Lake I just think it's an amazing beautiful place the rock here is incredible as good as any climbing area in the country there's routes from easy to hard hundreds and hundreds of routes at every difficulty level so it's a perfect place for beginners intermediate, advanced climbers, all types of different styles of climbing here. That's the beauty of it. I mean, I've been climbing here my whole life, basically, and there's still thousands of routes yet to do, and and uh, it's just like a, a never-ending playground of, of perfect rock, and it's just a beautiful place. The camping is really nice. The flora and fauna are incredibly beautiful, the setting is wonderful, pretty much one of my favorite places in, in the entire world, really. Now it's pretty obvious why they call this park the City of Rocks. Behind me you can see all these spires and monoliths poking out of the ground, appearing to be skyscrapers in a city. But what's interesting is the rocks themselves. You've got some of the oldest rocks in the lower 48 states. Over at Twin Sisters, for example, the darker side is 2.5 billion years old, while the lighter side is only 25 million years old. This unique geologic area became a landmark in 1843 for California-bound immigrants. They left wagon ruts across the landscape and their signatures and axle grease on Register Rock, Camp Rock, and many others. One of the great things about National Reserves, National Forests, or National Recreational Areas is that you'll find a lot more diverse camping than you would in a national park. For example, here in City of the Rocks, they've got lots of campsites right in the action. You can camp right next to one of these big rocks with a great view of the uh, city itself. So be sure to come on in and try and find a campsite in here first. And if there's nothing available, certainly you've got the Smoky Mountain Campground. And that's also where you're going to want to go if you've got an RV. Well, here we are in the Smoky Mountain Campground in the City of Rocks. Uh, it's an excellent facility here. And uh, it's early August on a Sunday and there's only a few sites reserved. So if you're looking for solitude, uh, certainly summertime would be a great time to be here at this campsite. We hear the busiest times are spring and fall uh, because the temperatures are a bit uh, cooler during the day. And don't be fooled, even in July and August when the temperatures can get extremely hot during the day, uh, towards midnight, they can still get down to freezing. So come prepared. City of Rock certainly isn't a small park, but it's definitely a very unique park. We've seen spires that are as high as 600 feet tall, some great rock climbing, and lots of solitude. So the next time you're in South Central Idaho, be sure and stop by and pay City of Rocks a visit. For Adventure Crew, I'm Clint Pollock. Have a great adventure.